Okay. All right. Okay. Sound like we all in the house. All right, Matthew, Matthew chapter 2, we're going to read verses 1 through 5, and then pick up again at verse 11 and 12. And it reads again as follows. And again, he entered into Capernaum after some days that it was noise that he was in the house. Say, Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in the house. And straightway, or immediately, many, many were gathered together insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they, they, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Pick up again in verse 11. I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thy house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed, and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. But I want to really draw my text out of verse number three. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. Let me go ahead and Wilsonize verse 3 right quick. A few friends with faith brought, brought their friend who was down to Jesus. You may have your seat. I just want to talk for a few minutes today. I want to talk from the subject of the super friends. All right. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I, I know some of y'all people in here that's under age 28. You might not know nothing about the super friends. Or let me give you a, a modern day version. I want to talk about a few friends with faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can take whichever version you like. Let us look to God, dear Lord, Heavenly Father. We thank you. We praise you, God, for your word that's going to go forth. Father, I pray that you would be glorified, your people will be edified, and the devil in hell will be horrified. So I got a couple of rules just real quick. If y'all, while I'm preaching, if y'all give me a couple of hallelujahs and a couple of amens, I swear I go ahead and preach like I'm on Prozac this morning because I really feel it. I need to get it out of my spirit today. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. So I want to talk about the super friends. And, and in, uh, in my time growing up in the late 70s and uh, the early 80s, the end thing to do on a Saturday morning was not to get up and get your iPod out or get your cell phone out and start texting or uh, get your Xbox out or your PlayStation. Uh, but the end thing to do uh, back in my day was to get up and watch cartoons. <laughs> I see I got some help here in the house today. And cartoons were this different then than they are today. Some of the stuff that they watch now on TV, I really don't understand it. Uh, my niece spent the night with us last week and she wanted to watch SpongeBob SquarePants. And as uh, uh, we were looking at SpongeBob SquarePants, I picked up on a couple of things that he was underwater. He was a sponge, but he wasn't wet. What type of sense do that make? And then they got the one, the, the, uh, the, the fairy god pants. And now we watching all this stuff, thinking it's neat and cute, but fairies are demonic. Yeah. Uh, we're not supposed to be messing around with the occult. Anytime you can shake a magic wand, you're dealing with the occult and you're dealing with some demonic stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Cartoons today are not like they used to be because the cartoons uh, back a while ago, they all had a message to the cartoon. Uh, so, but I can remember, I don't remember uh, 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 the, the first time I watched it, but in 1973, two writers called Hannah, <coughs> excuse me, Hannah Barbera created a group that they called the Super Friends. Say that with me, the Super Friends. The Super Friends. Uh, I, I think I'm going somewhere. I think I'm, I think I'm sending somebody back down memory lane. Uh, but the Super Friends were based on characters from comic books from the 1930s and 1940s, right after World War II and uh, going in and throughout the Great Depression. But after some extensive research, uh, uh, Sister Lori, I found out that the Super Friends were not just normal characters and normal cartoons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like it when it's quiet. I mean, y'all listen. The creators, watch this now, the creators of the heroes were actually Jewish men that were saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were looking for a way that they could get the message of the Bible out to people because uh, at that time it wasn't popular to be Jewish. Uh, we all know how Hitler was killing and persecuting the Jews. So sometimes the things that you 
would say would give away who you represented and you could die for who you were and who you represented. Uh, but these Jewish writers, they said, look here, there, there has to be a way that we can get this message of salvation, this message of deliverance out to where people can get the message. Uh, so sometimes, in order to give people the message, sometimes uh, I got to flip the script, slap it, flip it, and rub it down and remix it in order for you to get the message. Because if I gave it to you any other way, you might not get the message. Uh, am I talking to anybody in this house today? Uh, so now, uh, uh, but these Jewish men, they wanted to get the message of the Bible out. So they, they based their characters upon people in the Bible uh, and the power and the power that we as people of God have over our enemy and circumstances. Before I go any further, uh, one of the things that I really remember about the Super Friends is that they never lost a fight. And I just came to tell a few people of you in here today, uh, you were not created to lose the fight. You might be down and you might be out right now, but you can bounce back. You, you were created not to lose the fight. Turn around and slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't lose the fight. Don't, 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 don't look at my circumstances and determine that I'm down and out because you see me one way, but you need to get a look at me tomorrow. I mean, one thing that I really loved about the Super Friends is even if last Saturday it looked like they were losing the fight, they always put across the stage to be continued, and the next week they won the fight. I the reason why you're down right now, God is writing on your script to be continued. This fight ain't over. The battle ain't over yet. Matter of fact, you can start shouting right now, even if it feels like you're losing the fight. Uh, Y'all better loosen up in here, and let me start preaching in here. Uh, but with these super friends, uh, oh boy, I'm going to give you some information about the super friends, but uh, the super friends are some friends that I want to have. Uh -huh. uh, so when we when, when I give these descriptions of some of these people, uh, these are some of the people you want to have around. You say that when we say super friends. Super friends. Well, before I go there, let me let me give you some definitions here. The Webster's New World Dictionary des, uh, describes super as a degree greater than normal. I need some friends with a degree greater than normal. They ain't got to have a college degree, but they, it's got to be something special about them for me to consider them my friend. Uh, you know, nowadays, friend nowadays don't mean what it used to back in the day. Am I at Greater Faith Ministries this morning? Can I preach, can I preach like I want to? Uh, well, we know today that friend means all I'm doing is I'm getting benefits for free. Uh, tap your neighbor and say, you better lose that man and let him preach in here today. Uh, Y'all know what friend means. Uh, uh, you go and ask somebody, well, who is he to you? Well, we just friends. Wait a minute, how is, how is he or she getting benefits for free? All you're doing is calling them friend. That ain't what a friend is. A friend is supposed to be a close acquaintance. Uh -uh, I'm, I'm staying by there. A close acquaintance, a supporter. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm oh boy, it's going to get rough up in here. A supporter. So those that you consider your friends, are they supporting you or are they letting you down? Mm. A friend or close acquaintance. Uh, the Bible says a friend sticks closer than a brother. Third definition gives us a person who is on your side in the struggle. So when you're struggling and you're down and out, you, we can probably count the number of friends on one hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to really tell who your friends are and who your close associates are, all you got to do is start going through something. Because the real people is going to show up when nobody else will. Right. Uh, so, a uh, friend, a super friend, somebody with a degree greater than normal who will show up when I'm in the struggle, who will support me when I'm down, and somebody I can consider a close acquaintance. And it's good not to have a whole bunch of close acquaintances because you don't want everybody knowing your business. If you really want to know who you can eliminate as your friends, let's just, just, just get with one friend this week and tell them a whole bunch of stuff that they may think is your business. If they get back out in the street, that's no longer your friend. But if you tell somebody else and they don't tell it, that person who don't tell it, that's your friend. Come on now, come on, y'all told me y'all was going to help me preach this morning. Uh, so I want to talk about the type of friends that you need based on the super friends this morning. I know this ain't the type of stuff you hear in some of some of the other churches, but yeah, I'm talking about the super friends this morning. Uh, the first friend, and this one didn't get too much play, but I remember they had the one who swam underwater. His name was Aquaman. Say Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman was gifted with the ability to see in total darkness. I need some friends around me, and when I'm in a dark situation, they can help me to see my way out. Now, am I talking to anybody here today? Because sometimes, sometimes we get in situations and we don't know which way to go. But if, but if I'm calling you, I need you to help me get out the situation. I don't need you to make the situation. 
situation works. 